Baby with Food Prepping Channel. And today I'm going to fix something that if I've ever made it before, I don't remember it. Um, maybe in a, another way or something, but I'm going to fix chicken pot pie. And I think I'm doing it my way. I don't even have a recipe. I'm just doing it um, the way that maybe will work out. I've got two cans of these crescent dough sheets. And I've got a casserole dish over here. And I'm going to put, right, there's a casserole dish. I'm going to put the dough sheets, one in the bottom, and then put the stuff in, and then one on the top. Whether this is going to work or not, I do not know. I'm hoping that I can make it stretch, to stretch into that casserole dish. Um, I have got, in my frying pan right here, I've got two. I should probably have been boiling these, but I don't know why I didn't. I've just got it on low heat. Well, it's um, 240 degrees. And I'm just softening up some potatoes. I got two large baking potatoes, russet baking potatoes, and I cut them up into um, little chunks. And you should be able to see, let me zoom in so you can see the size of them. Um, they're not very big at all. They're, you know, they're little. Well, I guess they're going to be, they're probably going to be bigger than the, the celery. Maybe not the carrots, but the celery, they're going to be bigger than that. I've got three stalks of celery. I've got carrots, but I don't know how many carrots I'm going to put in here. Because if y'all, if I, this is like the second time, I don't really like carrots, but I'm going to try these. And you know what I don't know? I do not know whether I would want onions in my chicken pot pie. I cannot figure this out. Do I want onions or do I not want onions? I guess I'm going to put a, a small onion in here with the carrots, the celery, and the potatoes. I've got chicken broth. I've got milk. Um, I've got a can of those, what's from that? <laughs> Get it out of here. All right. I've got a can of low sodium mixed vegetables. I've got three or four cans of these, but I think I was just going to make one. If I've got enough room, I'm going to go get another one. I'm going to drain those, and then I've got a can of whole kernel corn. I'm going to drain that. Um, I've got a bag of rotisserie chicken. It's in the refrigerator. I've got to get it out. I forgot. Um, and after these potatoes and the celery and the carrots and the onions get soft, I'm going to make a roux in my frying pan with a butter and flour. Butter and um, the light uh, blah, 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 blah. olive oil, the cooking olive oil, and I'm going to make roux with the that, the cooking oil and the butter and the flour and then I'm going to put the chicken broth in that and a little bit of milk and I want it to be a little bit creamy and then I'm going to put this in the oven and bake it and we're going to see how it comes out <laughs> like I said I don't know I don't even know if I should be putting milk in it or not I just like I said I'm just I have watched so many different over the past 12 years, or ever how long I've, I guess it's been about 12 years that I've been on YouTube, I have watched so many videos. It's it. Once I started doing um, YouTube or whatever, I stopped watching really a lot of TV. Now I still watch my programs like The Bachelor and um, The Voice and American Idol and and stuff like that. I still watch those, but mainly what I watch is people cooking on YouTube because I love to have my own ideas and stuff and they like you know when you watch people and you see what they're doing and all, it kind of gives you ideas of what you want to do so I don't ever think that um, 
I don't want anyone copying me because copying me because copying someone is the best thing that you can have done to you. Um, I mean, you know, you 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 want to be someone's favorite or whatever. So um, I have a lot of favorite cooks on here that I I just love and I watch them every and I like the ones that are upbeat and that make you laugh because a lot of times, let's face it. I don't want to laugh. <laughs> oh, I got to tell y'all, before I go any further, you're not going to believe what happened yesterday. All right, so you know that Samantha had COVID. Then it snowed, and she hasn't been able to be at work all this week. She got here um, Thursday, but then she got stuck Thursday night getting out. She came in yesterday the other way, and was had to go and pick up groceries for me so as she was going out she got stuck in the snow but it went, turned into mud and she was oh my gosh she was just mired down in that mud or whatever and then her battery went dead so she got someone down at the farm to come up here and help her she left she her and her husband decided to go skating so um they were out there skating. They were getting ready to go because Samantha had to go pick up her brother from work. They were getting ready to leave and Samantha fell and broke her wrist, her right wrist, and she is right-handed. So now we don't know what's gonna, what's gonna happen. When she, for eight, it was I think six to eight weeks, maybe eight to 10 weeks, She's not going to be, she can't get it wet. She can't do any of that. So, I don't know how my dishes are going to get washed. Where, um, I've talked to Teresa. Her mom's got COVID, and she's worried about them. Plus, her father-in-law just died. And so, I mean, there is just things going on with everybody. My Kayla is, um, she's doing, she's better. She's okay now. And so, hopefully, um, <laughs> everything will get better one day because I can't seem to get into the swing of things to get everything that I want to do for y'all and, and all this because something keeps happening. Um, Samantha found a, <laughs> a mirror in the bedroom closet the other day that smashed. And she said, um, you know, you break a mirror at seven years, bad luck. So she found it or whatever, so she said that was her bad luck. <laughs> so anyway, I'm telling you, it's just been one thing after the other. But let me get in here and cut up this celery. Here's my celery. There's my carrots over there. There's my onion. I've got to cut these up and put them in here with the potatoes and just soften them up some. And I will bring y'all back. Okay, so here's my vegetables that I'm just letting them get soft or whatever, and then I'll put them in the thing. And I did put them, I still don't know, I put the other half to this onion in here, cut it up and put it, because I just don't know whether I think, when I think about Kentucky Fried Chicken or KFC, whatever, when I think about their pot pies, I don't think they have onions in them. I don't know. I can't remember. But, you know, maybe it'll be okay. I'm going to put some chicken bouillon in here. I'm going to put my wood fire garlic in here. And I'm going to put some... Uh, i got to find it. Chicken... Um, oh, come on. I'll let y'all know what it is when I find it up there. All right, I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. All right, so I have got the, um, one of the dough sheets I put in the bottom of the casserole dish. I'm sorry, I forgot to show y'all. Put it in the oven. I've got the oven preheating to 400. I've got the potatoes here. I've got two bags of rotisserie chicken. I'm going to use them both this weekend, but, well, See, I didn't cut this up, and I should have. All right, so I got to cut this chicken up. I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. So I've got the the chicken and the 
vegetables that I cut up and that I've softened and now I'm going to put in the can of corn I drained this it has been drained And these mixed vegetables, I do not know where I got these from, unless it was from Dollar General. But they have everything in them. Carrots, potatoes, peas, corn, green beans, celery, lima beans, and salt. <laughs> All right, now, let's see if I can get this mixed together. And I'm going to put the um, wood fire garlic. Let's see. Where's the other one? Uh, well, I don't see what it was that I was looking for. Oh, here it is. Poultry season. Yes, I'm going to put poultry season chicken bouillon and the wood fired garlic and I'm just using the plastic spoon to do this and the plastic spoon is a teaspoon come on now alright I'm going to put two teaspoons of the chicken bouillon in here And the wood fired garlic. Then is a Kinder's. And this is my new favorite Kinder's wood fired garlic. You see, I've already used a lot of it. Y'all know I don't like garlic, but this doesn't taste like garlic. All right, I'm going to do um, one heaping teaspoon of that in here with the wood fired garlic kinder's wood fired garlic all right and then i'm going to put the um poultry seasoning this is organic poultry seasoning and my spoon is not going to fit in there should have known all right and then i'm going to put a it's not even a whole teaspoon but this stuff is kind of powerful to me. All right, so that's all the stuff I've got to put. I've got to get it all stirred up and heated up. And then I'm going to put it over in a bowl over here. Then I'm going to put the, a half a stick of butter in here and some oil. Get that hot, put some flour in here and make the um, sauce to cover this, this or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Roux, whatever. And I'm also making some cornbread. I'm going to do that while the, um, while the thing is in the oven. Oh. <laughs> okay. I gotta put salt and pepper in here too. Oh. Oh, and I gotta show y'all. Let me back you up so I'm here. I got this thing at um, Amazon. I've been wanting one of these for a long time and I didn't really know what they were called or whatever. This is a pepper grinder. And this is not the one that everybody has. It has the lights on it or whatever. This one, you just turn this, and it's so easy. With my, with me having lost my strength or whatever, it's been very hard for me to grind the pepper. And I have a lot of pepper grinders, but I couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. So I got this, and let me show you. I got um, Telecherry. Oh God, I got Telecherry um, peppercorns to go in here. And you put it in here, and you can either put it, I'm just doing, 
it down here because it's hard for me to and you just turn this and all right and look guys you can see there's my pepper right there and I'm gonna put it all in, in here might be I need a little bit more I don't know I have to see yep I'm gonna need a little bit more oh my gosh this smells so good and then I'm just using table salt Wow. And I will have this li linked below um, so that you can you can get it if you want to. It's right expensive. It was almost $35 or maybe $35. But I say this was the money that I got for Christmas got me this. My daughter got, gave me money for Christmas and so that is what I wanted was that all right so here's i'm putting the salt in now and um, just table salt morton iodized table salt all right it is heating up and i've got to go get my other my dough sheet out of the oven i've got it cooking a little bit in the oven and I will bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. I have a half a stick of butter in there. I'm going to put some Bortoli cooking olive oil in here. About a tablespoon of cooking oil. All right. And I'm going to... Oh, I didn't... Wait, I gotta get that. My stuff that's going in my in my flour to get the flour out with. Wow. All right, I think I'm going to put some stuff in here just to give it some flavor before I put the flour in. All right, and I think I'm going, instead of putting milk in here, I think I'm going to just put our chicken broth in here and here is the did i show y'all this here's the vegetables i put them in this bowl and i tasted them and the carrots aren't done so i don't know if they will get done but everything else is really good mm. Mm -mm -mm. that is really good All right, now I'm gonna put a couple of big spoonfuls of all-purpose flour in here. Right, there's one. And here's two. All right. cooking with flour or whatever and when you're making a roux or gravy or whatever you always want to um you always want to cook the flour down for a couple of minutes to get that flour taste out of the out of it and so i'm just gonna stir this around I guess when you get older and you've cooked so much that things just, I don't know, I don't even, don't even go there, but I'm not going to go there because when my mom left, the gravy could not <laughs> get thick enough or whatever. Alright, so I'm just using a carton and I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to use. At least um, probably three-fourths of it. All right, we put a little bit in at a time. Oh, tick. 
Well, might have to have more than this. Alright, so once this gets done and thick, as thick as I want it, then I will pour it over the vegetables and then I will pour the vegetables into my casserole dish and I put the um, bottom Chris, uh, dough sheet, the crescent dough sheet, I put the bottom uh, one in the uh, casserole dish and I put it in the oven and I didn't keep it in there very long, just enough to brown it a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to have to use the whole thing of this. I guess I put too much flour. See? <laughs> Don't ever count your chickens for the hat. I probably need a whisk to do this, but it'll be okay. Let me put some more in here. Uh, this does have salt in it, so... Ooh. Four servings, and it's got... One serving has got 720 milligrams of sodium. So four of those, 28. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> my whole thing of salt for the next week is in this. So anyway, I don't know what um, Samantha's going to do. I don't know whether she's going to come back or what. I mean, I'm sure that hopefully once her arm heals, she'll come back. Um, but I don't know. You know, I may have to split the hours between her and Teresa. If Teresa's mom gets better and Teresa's son is a whole lot better. I don't know if y'all remember, but he had a... Um, wreck on the motorcycle last year and we we thought he was going to die and I mean it was horrible and we prayed I had him on the prayer list at my sister-in-law's church and people on Facebook and everything because it was really bad um, and he still is not he's still doing therapy or whatever but he's not living at their house anymore he went back to his house and I I think he can drive, yeah. I think she said he can drive, but he's not good at walking right now. He's still taking therapy. So, but um, Teresa's not having to take care of him any that much anymore. And also, if her mom gets over COVID, um, I'm just praying. I love Teresa's, um, Teresa's mom to death. She is one heck of a a good woman and I love her and I hope nothing happens to her but they decided not to get their shots and so I tried to talk her into it and she wouldn't they're just they were dead set against it and Teresa's mom is I'm not sure in her 70s and she was um her mom's in very good health but Teresa said that she is not eating and she's really, really weak and Teresa's like waiting on her hand and foot and I I just do not I just do not want anything to happen to her and, and that's it, it, you know, that's not so bad. Her father in law died last week and her husband and her three sons are all up in Ohio for his um funeral and Teresa couldn't go because her mom was sick. So I think that's been really rough on her too. So but anyway, I'm still stirring this and I've got the vegetables right here and the K 
casserole dish is right over there. This might not, it is thicker on the bottom, I don't know, maybe I'm just not stirring it enough. Alright y'all, I'm going to get this to where it's thick enough, then I'm going to pour it into the bowl right here, and after I do that, I'll bring y'all back, and then we're going to pour it into the casserole dish. Okay y'all, alright, so here is the stuff that I'm going to put in this pan right here. I don't know, I don't think I'm going to be able to lift it, so I'm just, for right now, I'm just going to have to put it in by spoonfuls. And I still got a whole nother bag. I didn't use the other bag. It was enough rotisserie chicken for in here. Now I don't know what I'm going to do. I've thawed out two bags. I've got about ten bags of rotisserie chicken that I would go to Sam's and get the ch rotisserie chickens because they're it's so good there. They're oh, they're huge, huge um, rotisserie chickens and. I would bring them home and get the skin, I mean the meat and all off of them and freeze it into two packs per, per chicken. One, each chicken would do two packs of, of uh, meat, the rotisserie chicken, and so I'd put that in the, in the um, freezer and then I'd keep the carcass in there too. And so I've got, I don't know how many carcasses I've got in there. Oh no, this isn't going to be too much. Oh no. <sighs> okay. So let me see now. I'm going to taste this and see. I know the carrots aren't done, but... Oh my gosh, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Now I've got to get this dough sheet out and put it on the top. And stretch it all the way down here. Oh, I left it out too long. And it's... Y'all can't see. <laughs> now it's just falling apart because I didn't keep it in the refrigerator. this is going to be any good. If it's not enough um, of the dough or whatever, I've got plenty of biscuits and I can doctor it up tomorrow or whatever with biscuits, put biscuits on top and do it like that for tomorrow because as y'all can see, um, I fixed enough for the town I live on again. And I keep telling myself, Debbie, you've got to stop cooking so much because there isn't anybody around here. I mean, the people upstairs just don't want anything to that I cook or whatever. So I don't know. I don't know what. It, <laughs> I don't know what you know what why it is. And I've told several of them down at the farm or whatever. And so. You'd think that there would be somebody around here, because it's all old people. You'd think that there would be somebody around here that would want something to eat, but they don't. 
gaps. Chad wanted me to make the, the gaps. He wanted me to make um, food for the church on Tuesday, but it, I did, it isn't, wouldn't be a whole meal for the church or whatever. But, I mean, just like this, if there was somebody down there that was really hungry, they could definitely, you know, come up here and get a bowl or whatever of food, and I would feed them, but I can't feed the, the whole church and take it down there. I, I can't walk. But, you know, I would do what I could because I don't mind cooking for people at all. Matter of fact, I love to cook for people, but, I mean, I, it's not... I don't have enough money to cook for the whole church or anything like that. And anyway, y'all see that I'm trying real hard to get this straightened out around here. And it's still got holes all in it. All right, I'm going to take the fork and just punch some holes in it. Probably won't be... All right, so this is going in the oven now. I've got the oven preheated to 400, and I will bring y'all back when this is done. Okay, y'all, I want to show y'all this before I cut it. Um, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can... But it's very crunchy on the top, which is what I wanted. And this has been sitting for about 15 minutes I don't know if it'll come out or not <laughs> I only left it in there for a half an hour because I had a major my cornbread I ran over into the oven and I don't know what I did wrong or whatever but it definitely ran into the over into the oven and then it stuck in my pan and this is my grandma's pan and I have never 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 she gave it to me when I was about 25 so that's 40 years ago yep and it's never stuck never so I don't know whether I ruined it when I did that I don't know what I did it's not a hard one let me see if I can Let me get the vegetables out. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing here. I'm putting it on my plate. All right, so y'all can't see my plate, but I need to take a picture of this, and then I'll bring it. See, it's still steaming, steamy. <laughs> So let me take a picture of this and let it cool off a little bit. And then I'm going to taste it and we're going to see what it tastes like. It sure does look good. I tell you that, it really does. So let's hope it tastes good. If it does, this is all me. <laughs> I did this. I mean, you know, of course you get ideas from other people or whatever, but I haven't seen anybody do... Um, this in a casserole dish not use the the dough sheets i don't even know if i've seen the um chicken pot pie in these dough sheets i know that um the moss family makes a like a sausage casserole with the, with dough sheets or whatever and i'm gonna fix that oh my gosh i think that looks so so good all right so like i said oh look at that crust like I said, let me get off here and take a picture, and I will bring y'all right back. Now, well, this is extremely hot. Let's try this dough. Now, it's not crispy. I don't know if any of y'all have had the um, pot pie from KFC. But it is amazing, and the, cr uh, the crust is so crispy. This isn't. I thought it was. But it's not. Alright, let's taste this. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Wow. 
There's <clears throat> my cornbread. Mm. I know, I shouldn't have put cornbread with this, but I had milk that I had to get rid of, and I, you do use a lot, you know, you use a lot of milk unless you use buttermilk, and I didn't have any buttermilk, so I knew I was going to have to use the milk, and of course I changed the milk into buttermilk. <laughs> mm. And if you don't know how to do that, you just pour a glass of milk and um, usually whole milk. I guess I think you can do it with 2%. But you just pour a big glass of milk and pour about two, I'd usually do two to three tablespoons of um, vinegar. It can be apple cider vinegar or regular white vinegar. And you let it sit and it turns into buttermilk. Or the consistency of buttermilk which is what you need for cornbread. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. That wood-fired garlic and the, um, what was it? The, um, <clears throat> the, 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 the. I don't know. Whatever the other spices were, it'll be down below, listed below. I can't think right now. And I did go off all the medication, y'all, and it didn't really help my memory any. So I guess I am getting the early, um, it's called early onset dementia, or Alzheimer's, early onset Alzheimer's, early onset dementia. I don't know what it is. But that stresses me out even more because I'm, um, don't know how my kids, if I do live or whatever long enough to be like my mom and not recognize my children or whatever, I don't know how they will be and, uh, all right, but we're not going to talk about that. I don't want to be down, I do not want to be Debbie Downer again today. Lord have mercy. Debbie Downer is showing all the way every day. <laughs> I gotta stop this. Um, I don't know if y'all are, y'all know I'm 65. If any of y'all are around my age or a little bit younger, a little bit older, do y'all get depressed like I do? Does it bother? I mean, do you think about everything and I mean, I think about everything every day, and I promise you that it is the stuff that will stress me out the most. And I don't want to be like that. I do not, but I don't know how to stop it. So, and I'm, I mean, I'm here by myself all the time. And, you know, because my kids live over an hour away, and... I've got to the point where I don't go very much, play, go very many places anymore. So I get real nervous when I get out and drive. So, but anyway, this was, let me take a spike right here. This has got a little bit of everything in it. Mm, mm, mm. Except for the carrots. It's amazing. I wish I hadn't have put the carrots in there. But I don't taste the onions. So I must not have put very many in there enough to give it that oniony taste or whatever. But I hope you like this video. If you, you know, if you do this and you, maybe you can come up with something way better than what I've got or whatever. Um, mine is just like a starting, a starting place for you, but it really is good. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, and don't forget there is links to different things that, and this time I think I'm going to put, um, write many more things because I've got other things that... I haven't linked below that I need to link 
So the pepper thing and I don't know. I'll have to check and see what all I've got. Um, but I will have this stuff linked below and if you click on it if you you know see something that you want to purchase it does not cost you any more it's just that i'm an affiliate for amazon and if i if y'all click on one of my links and purchase the item then i get a few pennies and that's pretty much what it is now like i said before i don't think i've made more than 15 dollars a month in selling everything but, but there is a lot of people i remember Linda's Pantry, she used to make a lot of money off of Amazon. Now, I don't know whether she still does or not, but she used to. Um, but not me. I just don't, I don't pre push mine so much. At the end of my videos, I, you know, I let y'all know that anything that, most of the time, anything that you see on here that you can get at um, Amazon. So, I hope that y'all have a wonderful week. And I love you all. You're the best. Now, I could not tell you how happy you make me. I can be in such a sad mood and then the, the, the comments will start coming in from y'all and it just puts a smile on my face and makes my heart, it does my heart good. So thank y'all for being here for me and like I said, I love you and you have a good day. Bye.